Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this result. So this result says if you have a matrix space ZD, Z means set of integers and D is a usual distance and X D dash is any matrix space. Then if you define any function f from ZD to X D dash then definitely it is a continuous function. So here we will start with a given information. The information is ZD is a matrix space we have where D is the usual distance. So we are familiar with a definition of usual distance d of x y is equal to mod x minus y right. Before proving this result we are going to prove a very important thing. So that thing is every subset of z d is an open set this thing we are going to prove. So let us call it as claim and we will prove it first. So our claim claim is every subset of z d is an open set ok. So let us take one subset of z d. So let a be a subset of z and we have to prove it is an open set. So let us recall the definition of open set. Suppose such matrix space we have suppose this is a matrix space x d and a which is any subset of x. When we say a is an open set if you take any arbitrary point small a belongs to capital A and if it is possible to draw ball around A which entirely lies inside set A then we declare A is an open set. Same method we will use to prove this set A is open. So let us take one arbitrary point let small a belongs to capital A be any arbitrary point ok. So I have taken any arbitrary point. So now we have to find a ball around A which is a subset of A again. So I am going to consider a ball with center A and radius half. We are familiar with the definition of open ball let us use the same definition. So definition of open ball says it is a collection of all points of a matrix space here matrix space is Z such that distance between X and A is less than its radius which is half here. Okay, so this is equal to x belongs to z such that see as we have mentioned here d is a usual distance. So definition of d is mod x minus a less than half right. We are familiar with one result that is mod a less than b if and only if minus b less than a less than b. So this result I am going to use here at a place of b we have half and at a place of a we have x minus a. So by using this result what will you have x belongs to z such that minus half less than x minus a less than half right. Let us add a in all sides. So let us add a. So if you add a here a minus half if you add a plus a minus a will get cancelled. If you add a here a plus half right. So what it means we can take any point which lies between this a minus half and a plus half and it should be an integer. Uh, let us write here ok. Let us write here. I will draw the diagram so the picture will be clear to us. So this is a real line integer means 0, 1, 2, 3 and on this side we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. So basically a is an integer getting so suppose our a is 2 suppose this is our a. So a minus half that means here uh, 3 by 2 we have and a plus half that means here 5 by 2. So we want see uh, it, it is a collection of all integers it should be an integer which lies in this interval. So the same thing we can write in this way. So it should be an integer so z intersection it should lie in this interval. So a minus half and a plus half. So in this diagram we can easily see if you have a is an integer then in this interval we will have a is the only integer ok. So therefore the integer which lies in this interval is singleton a. So here we proved if you consider a ball with center a radius half then it is nothing but a singleton set a that means a center of that ball only. So here here we started with a belongs to capital A, a belongs to capital A. Therefore, we can write a singleton a is subset of a ok. So let me remove this part so I will have some more space to write. 
But just now we have proved that singleton set A is nothing but this ball with center A and radius 1 by 2. So I can put its value there. So this is nothing but a ball with center A and radius 1 by 2 subset of A. So we started with any arbitrary element of A and we could found, okay. Uh, so we could find that ball with center A and radius 1 by 2 which is subset of A again. So therefore we can declare therefore A is an open set. So A satisfies the definition of open set. So that's why we can declare A is an open set. So therefore we can write a claim again. So here we have proved that thing that every subset of Z is an open set since A is an A arbitrary subset of Z. So let me mention here therefore every subset of Zd where it is a usual distance is an open set. So in this way we proved our claim. So let us uh, discuss the proof of this theorem now. So what we have to prove if you have any function like this Zd to xd dash then it is a continuous function. So let me mention here now to prove that any function, so any function we are considering from where to where Zd where it is a usual distance to x d dash is a continuous function. Okay, So we want some more space to write, make a screenshot of it then I will go further. So there are several ways to prove the given function if it is continuous. Ready? Uh, so, so here the domain is Z and the codomain is x d dash. So we have a function f from z d to x d dash getting. So we have to prove the function f is continuous. That means we have to prove the function f is continuous at each point of this domain. So we have epsilon delta definition of continuous function getting. So we have one more thing uh, that we call it as sequential criteria. That means if you have a sequence x1, x2 and so on xn with converges to x then f of x1, f of x2 and so on xn converges to f of x then also we can declare the function is a continuous function. One more thing we have that is if you consider any open set G in codomain and its inverse image f inverse G is open in domain then also we can declare the function f is a continuous function. See this thing I am going to use to prove the function f is continuous. So for that we need to have one open subset of x d dash. So let us consider let uh, G be an open set in x d dash. Okay, so I consider an open set in codomain. So its inverse image f inverse uh, let me mention here properly f inverse G is subset of Z obviously. So its inverse image will be in Z but just now we have proved every subset of Z is an open set. So we can declare so therefore f inverse g is an open set in Zd getting. So because of our claim we can write it by claim. So by our claim we can write f inverse g is open subset of Zd. So we started with open subset of codomain and we got its inverse image is also open in domain. So therefore we can declare function f is a continuous function. So let me mention here therefore f from zd to x d dash is a continuous function. So, so much important result we have proved that means if the domain is zd where it is a usual distance then irrespective of codomain and in definition of function definitely we can say that function is a continuous function. So, the proof is over here make a screenshot of it and then we will stop. Thank you. See you.